Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, I'm going to update you on this upcoming pattern. It's been named Winter Storm Iggy. Plus, we still have our tornado threat that will be coming to effect on Wednesday. Now, if anybody's wondering about this subtropical system in Atlantic, it's not going anywhere. If anything, it goes further out to the northern Atlantic, but it don't, they don't expect it to grow any further, so it's no further threats for that. And the next system that's coming through, just like I showed you yesterday, the cold temperatures are not going to be as bad as people say. So if you like a no-hype channel, make sure you subscribe because I don't do hype on my channel. I don't do clickbait titles and thumbnails. We're a great community. You'll see for yourself when you read the comments. And we have today's winner. So I will announce that today. And we have another one we're giving away for tomorrow. Now, Winter Storm Iggy is coming in overnight into the early morning hours first for Nebraska as it brings these storms up. And this is over by 2, 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Bringing freezing rain as well. And as you go through the morning, it goes by Kansas. But it starts bringing a big line of freezing rain through Iowa, while Nebraska, South Dakota getting some of this snowfall. And it is adding up to major still. About a foot of snow for a lot of places. Also, on the bottom side of the storm, as you get in that snowfall, it is bringing the chances for tornadoes. You have this big, wide area chance for tornadoes but i see the yellow as the most severe your cape is not that strong not a lot of lift but you do have a lot of thunderstorms coming through all the way from noon and one o'clock for tomorrow and it is passing all evening long all the way to about eight or nine o'clock at night but you lose a lot of lift pretty quick so there is a time where there is chances for tornadoes and i see a lot of wind direction change with height with those i will go through that for you as well so let's go through the northern side of this storm so as you go overnight to early morning hours that's when nebraska is going to start getting this transition from rain to freezing rain to snow and as it carries across all morning long it goes towards iowa you get a lot of freezing rain as well as the storms comes after but there's a lot of snow that's going to be passing by so as you go to two three o'clock in the afternoon that's when it's going to start transitioning into snow for iowa then it goes towards wisconsin now chicago you're going to be getting a lot of storms i'm up here in milwaukee and we have us up for mixed precipitation then we're going to be getting storms as well but there is going to be a lot of snow that's passing by for southern minnesota as well as well as wisconsin all the way till 10 11 o'clock tomorrow night Overnight storms bring in some freezing rain towards Michigan as well as Pennsylvania all the way to 3 o'clock in the morning. And then it transitions into storms after that. So it's not bringing a widespread snowfall, but it is bringing a lot of major snow as well as the severe weather on the bottom. So let me show you everything that I found for you. But you still have snow up here in upper Midwest from the system that just left. And then when Iggy comes through, it's going to bring another good swath of snow pretty heavy snow too if you look at the amounts you'll see that for nebraska you're gonna get about a foot 14 inches almost for nebraska let me zoom in a little further so you can see you got nebraska you got south dakota you got southern minnesota getting in on it almost a foot for all of y'all over a foot for nebraska southern minnesota you're gonna get anywhere from eight to ten inches and northern wisconsin anywhere from seven to eight inches over here where I'm at, it's about an inch. It, it, it always moves north when it comes to us, so I'm used to that. Iowa, you're going to be getting three to four inches on the northern side, but you're going to get a lot of freezing rain on the southern side as well, so you got to be warned of that. And northern Michigan, you're going to get a couple inches out of this system. There's not a lot else for that system. That's the only places it's really going to impact then we have the severe weather effect. So for the severe weather aspect of it, as we go overnight into Wednesday, you do have chances for tornadoes. You got the big 2% in the green and the 5% in the brown, just like what I showed you. You also have chances for wind and a slight chance for hail. So for your tornadoes, your chances are 5% Memphis, Tennessee, Jackson, Tennessee, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Monroe, Louisiana, and Alexandria, Louisiana. The 2%, which is a green, is Nashville, Tennessee, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Shreveport, Louisiana, Jackson, Mississippi, and Evansville, Indiana. And you can see as you go all evening long that you do have a big area of 60 dew points that come all the way in, and it does carry towards the east. So that is going to bring a lot of thunderstorms, but when you look with the cape, with the lift, you can see that it's not bringing a lot of lift. There is an area right around 8 to 9 o'clock where it really consolidates to Louisiana and Arkansas. 
Not real strong up here for Kentucky and Tennessee, but don't rule that out because there is chances for these tornadoes to come about. I do see a lot of wind direction change with height, a lot of shear, and it could produce a couple of tornadoes. So let's examine this line of storms and see exactly what is in the outlook for it and what the chances are. So you can see here for northern Louisiana, as the storms pass by, you can see on a holographic, you get a little bit of a hook. But if you see down here, you'll see your winds are going west, northwest, mostly an updraft pull, but immediately go east, northeast, and intensifies with wind direction with height. So you do have a chance for a tornado. Also, southern Arkansas, you can see up here in your holograph, you are getting a little hook as well. And you see on the bottom, you are getting a strong updraft from south to north, and it is changing wind direction, change with height all the way to the east, northeast. Now, this strong updraft is strong, and it could bring some damage and winds because you had the strong updraft. So hopefully, y'all took my warning about Iowa because they did get a tornado as well. And it goes all the way up to northern Arkansas. You can see it. You got a little bit of a hook, mostly a damage and wind threat. But you do see the winds are west, northwest, and immediately go east, northeast. Not too intensified because you need these wind barbs down here at 850 to show that you have a strong chance. But you still have a chance for wind direction change with height. You have chances for tornado. And it does slide into western Tennessee as well. You can see on your holograph that you have actually the best hook that we have for a chance for a tornado. Your winds go strong to the west, northwest, and immediately go east, northeast. So you definitely have wind direction change with height as well. This is pretty much what I saw with Iowa, except Iowa had a strong updraft. But you still have chances for tornadoes. Wind direction change with height can create a tornado. So as you go to National Weather Service the next three days, you can see that you do have some heavy snowfall up here for Nebraska, even for Colorado and some of Kansas, but you get some freezing rain and a good transition from the southwest as it comes this way. It's going to start getting heavier. And all this up here to mix precipitation and chance for the freezing rain is a storm system that is leaving y'all now. For tomorrow, this is where it really starts to ramp up. You have chances for heavy snow and all those black and white striped lines, regular snow in the white as well as for the west coast. We see all this line of mixed precipitation and chances for freezing rain involved in there. And you still have that chance for that flash flooding in the red and the severe weather in the yellow. But you will have thunderstorms in all of this dotted green. Then as you go through Thursday, that's where it moves out. And you're still getting heavy snow on the northern tier of the upper Midwest. A lot of mixed precipitation, a lot of storms going all the way to the east coast and chances for freezing rain as well. So it is going to be a couple days of some very heavy snowfall and chances for freezing rain with some slight chances for tornadoes. And that other storm, just like I said last time, is not showing too much promise. I'm not showing that cold air doing too much. I know it's been, I call it fear porn. Like crazy people talking about things going to get stupid. It's amazing what people do on YouTube for views. So as the system comes in, you can see it does bring some chances for ice. This is Winter Storm Iggy. A lot of chances for snow and you have your severe weather. As you move overnight into early Thursday morning, you see you started getting that freezing rain, that ice potential and the heavy snowfall as well as the West Coast. You are getting some storms for Oregon. But your severe thunderstorms go all the way up to the lower half of the Ohio Valley. Then as you go through Thursday morning, then it transitions over towards the northeast. You get some mixed precipitation, some ice, some freezing rain, but a lot of rainfall for a lot of people. And then as you go through Friday, it moves away. Then we have that second storm coming through, and you can see it's not doing much. According to National Weather Service, you can have severe thunderstorms in the south, but it's not bringing too much snowfall. You're not seeing all that major snow that people told you about. And as you go through Sunday, it transitions to the east, and you're not seeing any snow. They're seeing rain. And that's what I showed in the ensembles also, that it probably will not be a lot of snowfall. Matter of fact, it's showing less and less. And you can see this here on your geo potential height update from yesterday. You can see as that pressure system comes through with that cold air that it don't really last long. It loses all this cold air as it goes by Texas and it's not bringing any big Arctic blast to the south. So I wish y'all would stop following those people that just do fear porn because they never update a story usually you know, after they do that. They just change it to a new fear porn for the next day. It's unbelievable. Matter of fact, you can see the update with the Euro, the As Winter Storm Iggy comes through about the same track that I just showed you. And then when that next storm system comes through, you can see how much less of snow may be going to fall for the panhandle of Texas. 
and then pretty much nothing after that. At the end of the run, it shows you could see a couple of inches all the way to the 24th. And if this was to fall, this would not stick. This would fall in the air and then melt immediately. I'd be surprised if you'd even see it. I think this is going to update later on to where it's not going to be nothing as well. But all together with the Euro, it is bringing a good swath of snowfall as well as for the panhandle of Texas and maybe some more coming as we go towards the end of the run and look towards that next storm system. I'm not showing much promise for that, guys. The, the, the temperatures are not going to be there. We're going to be above average pattern. Matter of fact, you can see the update on the ensembles right here in a control member that they're not expecting too much snow to fall for the panhandle of Texas in the next 168 hours, guys. It's getting less and less. And you can see this here as Iggy moving up to the upper Midwest. You start getting some temperatures coming in, but as far as what's going to happen in the south, it don't go that far. If it does, it's only for six hours at a time. So if you take a look, we're already at seven days. You do have a chance for some cold temperatures to come to the Panhandle of Texas where everybody is going to be in some 20 degree temperatures. But if you keep going forward, you'll see that it does spread out for a moment with some cold air. Look at that shot. You're not bringing a lot of cold temperatures, giving it a chance for that snowfall. And we're already 180 hours away, guys. If you keep going, you'll see that maybe a chance for some 20s to move in. Maybe some very cold temperatures for the panhandle of Texas. But if you check again six hours later, it is gone. It's already warmed up. It's not going to stay long. And if it comes again for the southeast, which it did show once, that it will bring some cold temperatures overnight into the early morning hours. But once again, six hours later, it is gone. Everything warms up and there's nothing happening. And we are at the end of the run, guys. Please stop believing people that show you information at the end of a model run and they're acting like that's what's going to happen. And it don't happen. And when it don't happen, all they do is change their story and you don't hear them talk about it again. They just fear porn another title. The best way you can do it is not to follow these people because you're giving them hope that you like what they do and they keep doing it. And you get false information, guys. It's not happening. Matter of fact, if you look 216 hours away on the wind chills, you might see some cold wind chills that will could drop in for a minute. Once again, this is the end of the run. I got a feeling you're going to see a picture like this today and a big long story telling you what it's going to do. And nobody knows that for sure. So stop believing the storytelling, guys. The wind chill is going to be a cold factor. But once again, the wind chill is not what brings you your snowfall. It has to be the temperatures, guys. But there is a cold wind chill that is moving through, and I will keep you updated. And our winner for today is Tyler O. Congratulations, Tyler. You are the winner of the Weather Station giveaway. Make sure you contact me at this email, Kids Gaming Today. That way I can get your address, get your phone number so you can get live tracking on this package and send it out to you. Remember, everybody, I will be giving one away tomorrow as well. It is every other day. Radar. Can't get no simpler than that. Thank you so much for your support on my channel. God bless you, Tyler. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've been giving away these weather stations for over a month now. And I do give away generators as well. I gave away a bunch of generators, and I am bringing those back. So if this looks a little familiar to you because I'm used to it, I get copied a lot. It's been happening for a long time. So if you want to keep up with the weather stations, let me know. If you want me to switch over and do generator giveaways, solar generators, let me know that as well because I really enjoyed giving generators. That was something people really can use, especially with oxygen machines, any kind of medical equipment. It's really helpful. But link is in the description for now if you want to get one for yourself. We will consider this. I was going to do this all of 2023. I really hate being copied. It's kind of <laughs> sad when somebody copies you like that. So do you want me to keep going with the weather stations or you want me to switch over to generator, something that'd be way more useful. This is good for severe weather though. So if you like the weather stations, let me know. I will be giving another one away tomorrow. But that's it. Nice quick update. Let you know what was going on, what the updates were. That way you can get on with your day. Thank you so much for your time today, everyone. God bless you and your families. Now I'd like to read to you Psalm 31, one through five. In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. Bow down thine ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. 
Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me, for thou art my strength. Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Amen. Have a very great Tuesday out there, everybody. Please prepare for this winter storm, Iggy, because it is coming and bringing a lot of snowfall with it, as well as the severe weather aspect. So thank you so much, most of all, for your time today. Hope you have a very great day. And remember, above all things, all glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And may he bless every single one of you and keep peace in your home. That's the best thing you can have is peace in your heart and in your home. <laughs> have a very great day, everybody. All glory goes to God now and forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a great day, everybody.